So something I wanted to try out um, while we're here is a bit of a Hollywood Mythbuster sort of thing really um, is let's stop I thought I'd try something different have a bit of fun um, can you start a fire with shotgun cartridge now um, I've always wanted to do that since I was a kid to try this out and now I can so <laughs> what the hell um, I want to try it out now obviously in a, in a situation um, if I was out I can't really envisage a situation where I would need to do this but if everything else failed and I had shotgun cartridges on me could I light a fire with it and try it um, first of all what we need to do is have a look at the anatomy of a shotgun cartridge starting at this end which is the end with the primer so if you put it into the gun that's where it's going this is where the pin is hitting and the shot's coming out here and that little percussion cap there is called the primer and that, that's, that's what starts all the business off alright so I'm just going to show a section uh, cutaway of a cartridge just so we can talk about what's inside and what we're going to have a look at so first of all on the outer on the top of the picture there um, like I showed you on my cartridge you've got the red casing plastic casing you then got the brass head uh, and the rim which is just where the cartridge sits into the chambers below there's a cutaway um, diagram of what's inside so you can see there you've got the primer as I showed you head on just past that you've got the gunpowder which is ignited by the primer you then have the wad um, which is either going to be fiber or plastic um, and that propels the shot so the primer is struck it ignites the powder which then forces the wad pushing the shot through the end of the cartridge now you got different ones these are fiber these are fiber wadded because I use these to shoot over uh, agricultural land and um, there's a few farms that I manage uh, problems of pigeons and corvids and you don't really want bits of plastic litter in the countryside um, and most landowners won't allow it um, period so fiber ones are biodegradable uh, so it leaves no trace um, when you're dropping plastic wadding everywhere it's, it's pretty unsightly um, you know it's a big it's the size of the plastic the plastic wadding is the size of pretty much this and it just sort of propels out and you get left with this plastic bit of rubbish um, every time you fire so imagine if you're firing 40 50 60 100 shots you know it's going to make a bit of a mess uh, the fiber wad is just a literally a little piece of um, biodegradable wadding which is just like that and it's made of fiber um, and when it's fired it pretty much disintegrates so there's nothing left so let's cut this open we'll see how it compares to the diagram, what's in there, and then we'll see if we can get it lit with um, a steel. Cool. Right, so first of all, let's cut away the top and discard the shot. You see there the way it's all crimped in on the end. So I'm just going to ever so carefully cut away the top there. And hopefully it'll just pop off like a little lid. There we go. So you can see there all the shot. And it's actually 
quite a lot. And that's all ball bearings basically. Quite a lot there. It's going to do a lot of damage. Right. So you can see inside, that's the wadding that we're talking about. So now I'm just going to cut down here to see if we can get some sort of a cross section going on, like in the diagram. So just going to ever so carefully score my knife down. Let's do that. Whoop, gotta be careful. Do that twice. I mean, obviously, it would just be easier just to go in the top and take out the wadding, but I just want to show you. So, I'm just going to bend that back now. Let's cut around this rim at the bottom. It's tough material, it's pretty thick plastic. Right, excellent, there we go. So, just like the diagram, you can see where the shot was. Comparatively, it doesn't take up a lot of space. This is the wadding. It's a huge amount of wadding. That is the powder. So, we're going to remove this wadding and then get to the powder. So we can just slide that out now. And there you go. It's just if I just show you now. Well, I mean, it's just it's just like paper. You can see. So I mean, it's just it is literally just fiber. It's just like cardboard. It's just dense sort of paper material. Anyway, we can keep that. Use that as tinder. But the stuff we want is the powder and there it is not really like the movies not the black stuff you're expecting um, this is really more like sort of confetti it's um, very fine sort of paper not the sort of thick, heavy black powder I was kind of expecting. Fair amount of it there. Right, let's see if we can get this lit. So, Just going to pour it out there. See if we can ignite it. Yep, I think that's a winner. <laughs> Caught a bit in my hand there. Um, pretty fast burning, but it ignited really, really well. Um, obviously, it didn't go bang, like a lot of people expect, because the only thing that makes it bang is the fact that it's compressed. Yeah, but because it's spread out in the open, it just burns relatively slowly to what you'd expect, but still pretty fast burning. Um, so I think that's pretty, conclusive to say that we can start a fire with that um, let's actually see if we can get one going properly well I'd say that's a resounding success. <laughs> Winner. I wasn't expecting that. That was just like the movies.
was better than I was expecting. Well, that was an insanely cool way to start a fire. <laughs> I'm really pleased with that. I wasn't expecting that at all. Um, now, obviously, I can't say I recommend that. Um, and to be honest, it's not a method I'd ever see myself using. Um, maybe one cartridge if I was desperate, but hey, listen, that was a bit of fun. Um, I've always wanted to see if that works, and um, it really does. Right, get some dinner on the go.